The most used and important operating mode is ground scan. After powering on the control unit, push the right arrow button to select option 2, ground scan. Activate the option by pushing the OK button. Now you have to adjust some settings. First you need to decide if you like to scan automatically or manually. In manual mode you have perfect control where you take a single scan value, because you have to push the start button to record a value. In automatic mode the control unit records value after value by itself. The second parameter is the number of scan values per scanning path. You can pre-select a defined number or select auto to determine the final number of impulses at the end of the first scanning path. The last setting is the transfer mode. Select memory to store all values in the internal memory of the control unit. Select computer to transfer the data directly to a connected PC with Visualizer 3D. This option is not available if the number of impulses is set to auto. As soon as all parameters are set, the control unit is waiting for the operator to get ready. The ground scan operating mode is used to create 3D graphics of the underground. Therefore the operator has to walk several paths to collect enough data. Here you can see the parallel scanning procedure where the operator scans a path and then goes back to the start, steps to the left and scan another path. Let's roll back now and see this procedure in detail. No matter what operating mode you are using, the distance between sensor and crown should be around 5 to 10 cm. For this example, we will define an area of about 5 by 5 meters. You always start on a corner and scan from right to left, as seen in this example. The red lines are our scanning passes. You can easily see that this is the parallel mode, since all arrows pointing to the same direction. Each of the blue dots represents a scan value that can be measured manually or automatically. Now you start walking the first path to collect measure values. If the first line has been finished, you come back without measuring and then you step to the left to scan the next path. This procedure is repeated for all scanning paths. As you can see in this perspective, there are two lines and about 8 scan values that hit our treasure. If we lower the number of passes, also the number of values hitting our treasure will decrease. But if we increase the number of scanning passes, even more scan values will hit our treasure. This can also be influenced by decreasing or increasing the number of scan values per path. The more scan values hit our treasure, the better you will see it underground. On the left side you see a scan image with only 4 lines and 5 impulses. And on the right there's an image with 13 lines and 35 impulses. Can you see the difference in quality? One more thing. It's absolutely recommended to repeat each scan in the same way with the same parameters. This is called control scan to make sure the values are valid. Next to the parallel mode there is zigzag where you scan forth and back. So you will scan the first path then step to the left and scan the next path backwards. 
Let's also see this procedure in more detail now. We are also starting on the corner and scan the first path. Now we step to the left and scan the second path backwards. And again to the left and scanning the next path. We repeat this procedure until we finished the scan. This procedure is for professionals only and not recommended for beginners or on hard terrain. One more thing, it's absolutely recommended to repeat each scan in the same way with the same parameters. This is called control scan to make sure the values are valid.